And we've got uh, Maurice Armstrong, uh, Vice Chairman of the Referees Committee of the Football Association. How important is an event like tonight in terms of football and refereeing? It's a very important evening tonight for young referees who are just starting out in their career to learn from more senior people who are here to discuss matters with them, the little problems that they get onto the field of play uh, during the course of their very early matches. And if referee, young referees can establish themselves in the first and second years and get over that barrier, they can improve. And an evening like this with people in a, in a nice compact area discussing things of mutual interest is most interesting and useful for them. Now we've got one or two um, top referees along tonight, notably Michael Oliver from the uh, professional game. Um, do you think that's going to inspire youngsters to better their career? Well, it, Michael Oliver is one of the youngest referees which is on the PGMO select list. Uh, he followed Stuart Atwell, who was the first, of course, and uh, Michael is in his second year, moving very up, very much up the, the, the ladder. Um, if I remember rightly, he's, he refereed um, uh, the Arsenal-West Brom match, which was the last match uh, before the international break, and he was also fourth official at uh, Fulham and Tottenham. And uh, so it is important for him uh, to, sh to show to these young referees that and he's 26, and if he uh, can show to them that refereeing uh, is there with the right environment and he can move up, these can move up and follow in his footsteps. Yeah. Now, obviously, you, you've been with us now three years and supported the event. Is this something which uh, has been a big benefit to the local area, do you think, this, this meeting tonight? Very much so, because um, there are young referees who were here three years ago when, we had, when, you, when this was the first one and, of course, last year. And, again, more young referees and um, it is a benefit for them to learn the, the trade of refereeing in, in the Peterborough Junior Alliance and the Peterborough Youth Leagues. And it's, these are going to be the referees of tomorrow. Thank you very much, Maurice. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Oh, that wasn't very good, was it? It's pantomime season, you know. Good evening, everybody. Oh, dear, but never mind. Um, first of all, a, uh, a very good, well, a very, let's say, fleet welcome from the Peterborough Referees Association uh, to this evening. Uh, my name's Alan Blaine. Uh, for my sins, I happen to be the chairman of the Referees Association in England. Um, and it's always a pleasure to come down to the fleet. And this is the third year, as you know, that we've run this particular um, event. Thank, thank you, uh, Alan. Um, on behalf of the Football Association, I'd like to welcome everyone here today, this evening. And it's also very pleasing to see so many young referees here of both sexes. And uh, football is about football for all. And a warm welcome to you all. I call this the Robert Wendell Young Referee Day. And those, I think, who have been here, first of all, hands up who was here the first year when uh, Mike Riley was here.
came to think, oh dear, and if you do, how do you prepare for that? It's not always all here, so it's not we get on on a, a Monday at 3 o'clock. Uh, so up until 3 o'clock Monday, you've got no idea where you're going. Um, and we said before about looking at disappointments. When you sometimes I look at the fixtures and go, well, that's impossible game, well, that's impossible. If you don't get the game, it's a, it's a small disappointment. Just how you deal with that. Because if you've got a game that you, say, if I come on four fists this weekend, if I don't do my job properly and I'm not supporting my colleagues, but I'm not then helping the Premier and the, the managers do their job. So it's it's a small disappointment, like I said before, but it's how you feel that, how you act to it. If you go there with the wrong attitude and you have to go again or you don't do your job properly, then the week after you can do yourself out of the way. So I'm probably, or well, we all have got to back of our head, go and do the job that we're here to do, whether that's kind of the way just, just to say again that um, we've shared this evening some of the many things that you guys and girls will go through, through hopefully to the level that Michael is now. It's great that he shares that with us. Please, can you put your hands together and give them a big Peterborough on our way.